What is up YouTube? It's Joel Too Cool and today we're testing out another Chemical Guys air freshener. Uh, this one is the new car smell. So we're gonna flush the air vents, we're gonna spray it around the vehicle, we'll test it out and see how it smells. So let's get to it. So step number one is make sure your AC is on. Step number two is to make sure that recirculate is on so that it flushes around the vents and comes back out. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is make sure your fan's turned on high. Once you got all that done, we'll go to the next step. So now that you got your AC running with recirculation on, you wanna come down to the passenger side floor and you'll just spray a couple of sprays around the carpet here. That's gonna circulate up through the air vents, through your air filter, and it's gonna come back out your regular vents. So the new car smell here, it's got, I mean, it's hard to describe. It's kind of a plasticky smell. Maybe a little bit of a fabric smell in there. So I get the new car smell from it. Yeah, that's, I mean, a little chemically, but it's not bad. So I guess it really comes down to uh, each individual person. Uh, you may smell something different than I smell. When I think of new car, uh, like I said, I'm thinking more of that plasticky smell. Uh, this one does have, like I said, a slight chemically uh, taste kind of to it. Uh, but overall, it's not bad. Uh, and the longer it sits, maybe it'll get a little bit better. Uh, so you can also uh, point out here, these are leather seats. Otherwise, I would probably spray the seats as well, uh, as well as like the back seats, the back floors, uh, underneath the driver's seat. Uh, what I wouldn't do though is spraying the uh, gas pedal and brake pedal. Uh, I'm not sure necessarily the texture of this, if it would make it uh, slippery, uh, but it's not worth taking that option. Uh, you don't want to have a slippery pedal while you're driving. But yeah, I, I like the smell. Uh, pick yourself up a bottle, let me know if you think it smells good, if you've tried it before. But yeah, like I said, I get a real strong kind of a plasticky, uh, chemically mix uh, odor coming from this. Alright, so we let it run for a couple of minutes, doesn't have to. Uh, once that smells in there, or the odor neutralizers get through your air vents, which takes 10-15 to 15 seconds, uh, you're good from there. And it's going to continue to stay in the vehicle. Um, with the odor neutralizing uh, chemical agents that are in this, it's going to continue to fight bacteria as long as it's inside the vents. Uh, you can always spray more whenever needed. I mean, they give you such a big bottle that uh, it's something you can keep inside the vehicle. Uh, if you get the four ounce bottles, they're a little bit more user friendly for inside of the vehicle. Uh, but overall, it's a good product. I do like it. Typically, the uh, Chemical Guys brand uh, air fresheners last about a week inside the vehicle realistically. I believe on their website it says two weeks, but honestly it, it's about a week before you get to the point where you just don't notice it anymore. Uh, at that point you just want to spray some more. Uh, also to note, this isn't just for vehicles. I mean new car smell is going to be more geared towards vehicles, but uh, they have like watermelon, they have vanilla bean, they have a million and five different flavors that uh, you can use inside your house. Uh, deodorized litter boxes, uh, gym bags, uh, just anything you think of that you want to kill bacteria and have it smelling clean. So overall, it's a decent product for the value. I think it's about $9.99 from their website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. This was Joel Too Cool. Thanks for watching.